Hey everybody, good evening. Beltmark Bell coming at you tonight. Beltmark Bell folds easy for convenient storage under the bed or in a closet when not in use. Quite convenient and dare I say an extra added value. Maybe not. I digress. Beltmark Bell coming at you tonight. It's been about a month I think since I was last able to find the time to do this. Um, it's been a little bit busy. Um, some of you know, some of you may not know. In the day job, I am a gourmet butcher. I make sausages, I cut steaks, I do all kinds of cool stuff like that. Um, the company is going live with Uber Eats starting this Wednesday. So there's been some preparation involved in getting us to where we want to be in prep and readiness for that. Uh, so I haven't been able to find the, too much time. Been able to find the time tonight to come at you with the last of the comparison videos. I have done two videos previous comparing the three WWE tag titles, the two WWE Women's Championships, and today we're going to look at the World Heavyweight Championship and the Universal Championship side by side. If you took a look at the last two videos, there's not a whole lot of difference with those belts. There's not a lot of difference with this, these two belts. However, there are a few differences, and they're mostly aesthetic. I do believe that those differences apply to the real belts defended on television. You be the judge. I'll pause the camera, show you what's on the table, and then we'll get to it. Hang on real tight. Gonna get technical with my editing. And return. Here we are. There they are. Here we are. There they are. It's the World Heavyweight Championship up against the Universal Championship. And the belt mark is going to put his scrutinizing eye to the task. There's really not a lot of difference, guys. Let me show you over here. It's the same. 2 by 8 male snaps. 2 by 8 male snaps. Stitched on snap boxes. Same faux leather stamping, leather stamped designs in the same places on the belt. The straps, same composition. My World Heavyweight's been worked in quite a bit. Sunlight and whatnot, a little floppier than the Universal. The Universal I just got during WrestleMania week here in Orlando. So it's newer. Okay. On the opposite end. Two by five males, three screws on the gold tip, simple black faux leatherish pattern backing, same faux leather stamping designs on the strap, on the World Heavyweight, as well as on the Universal stitched on snap box, two by five females. Same pattern, three screws on the tip, faux leather back. Okay. No differences there. Where I do find the aesthetic differences on these two belts is behind the plates. Okay. Over here on the World Heavyweight, and just for a little bit of further knowledge, this version of the World Heavyweight Championship, of course, is my commemorative version of it. But this one was 2000. I ordered this in August or September, I think, of 2014. This was just after this belt debuted on television. This is what I believe the earliest version, commemorative version of this title. And the way it came, let's see if I can get in there. One thing I have liked about the straps on the commemorative, well, the commemorative, the replica, what have you, on these uh, these faux leather straps, simulated leather straps, is they really went into some cool details, I think. There is a cross-hatched pattern, a textured pattern inside these little hammered faux leather stamped marks. Almost like a, the leather tooling tool, the leather uh, shading tool, what I, I don't know what you call it, but the foot of it, you can see like a teardrop shape of the foot of it. And it's got like a little 
fuzzy little cross hatch in there. It's real tight, it's real close, it fills in each field pretty fully. Right? As you can see. Now on the Universal Championship, when the Universal Championship first debuted, we can go back in the, uh, in the archives and check this, but when it first debuted on television, it definitely had a distinctly different look behind the plate. And they replicated this pretty well on the replica strap. Yes, this is commemorative. The replica strap is the same as this one. Eh. Anyway, this one here, this one almost looks like the leather stamping tool is larger. You can see the crosshatch pattern still pretty well in the foot of that faux tool, or the tool that should have been here but was not here. Eh? You can see that that foot of that tool is larger, and you can see that the stamped marks don't fill in the fields as tightly. Very random, you know, but don't fill in the fields quite like they do here. Smaller footed tool, more strikes, more shading, denser appearance here, a little bit looser, not quite as tight larger foot and there you have it while we're on the main plate two differences obviously the world heavyweight champion inscription versus the universal champion inscription but more importantly this here this isn't paint if you see here it almost has like a glassy appearance to it this is glued in this is a clear ish red plastic that is glued into place here that gives it a really cool appearance this is paint. You can see how it's paint by looking and how it goes down in rather than stands up out. And it's just paint. No big deal. But that's the difference on the main plate. Other than that, I mean, these belts are really are identical. I mean, you know, the low profile sidebars. Plastic little sidebars. Um, you know, plastic belt. What can I tell you? Can't change the side plates. Ah, side plates. Yes, here's a difference from my version of the World Heavyweight to the Universal, at least. The side plates do not have gems on either side of the globe. This is where I believe the screw heads are on the real belt that's defended on television with to change the side plates on. I believe on the replicas, you change them out by screwing them into the back. I don't think you do them on the top. I don't know. I've never had one. But that's the difference as well. At least from the 2014 version to the 2017 Universal bought at WrestleMania weekend commemorative title. Um, yeah. Okay, this is black. That is red. This is red. This is black. I mean, you know, that's about it. It's the same belt. You know? There you have it. They do kind of look good side by side, but they're the same belt. Few differences in appearance. Like I said, aesthetic differences that differentiate each title to the real titles that are defended on TV. But overall, for what you get as a consumer, not that different. Hang tight. Gonna pause this again and flip it around. Hang on. And there you have it. World Heavyweight Championship, Universal Championship, side by side. Again, for the third video in a row, as I compare these, I'm gonna say again, people can talk all they want about the commemorative titles, about how the plastic doesn't make it a real belt or a replica or whatever. But when you look at a guy like me or other collectors out there that would like one of this, one of that, I'm glad that WWE at least had the forethought to have a price point like this to where, hey, look, all I'm going to do is display them. I can amass a bunch of these at $200 apiece rather than $400 apiece. I mean, $400 apiece is, that's a lot. Like I says, I have a day job. I work for a living. 400 bucks a piece. I'm glad I could do it for two. All I'm going to do is display it. When it comes to modern era, 
WWE titles, not for nothing. There are better belts out there to get. The winged eagles, the big eagles, the big golds, the dome globes, all kinds of different belts. There is nothing special about WWE titles anymore. They're cool when displayed or thrown over the shoulder or hey, what do you have you? Get your own custom side plates done. There's all kinds of stuff going on for these belts now. Better screen accurate sidebars available from Belt Addiction. Belt Addiction also has custom banners down here. You can put different banners on, snap them into place. They got all kinds of stuff for this. It's nice, but there's nothing special to it. The only thing about these belts, that it, 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 it's all marketing. They want to sell you side plates. Customize your belt over and over and over and over and over again. Nothing special. Nice, but nothing special anymore. The classics, to me, are still where it's at. Right now I'm in the process of looking for a, a nice, maybe a dual-plated winged eagle. This way, you and I, you and us, me and us, me and you, whoever, can share that together, because that's really cool shit. Anyway, got some really cool stuff coming up in about a month. Where do you see? One, two, three, four, five, five new belts coming up with all kinds of things to talk about. Wait till you see. Uh, and I'm going to have another video coming up very soon with some updates on uh, certain aspects of my collecting. But we'll get to that another time. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you everybody who tunes into this thing that I do. I sure do appreciate it. Uh, I don't make anything off it. I just have a good time doing it. Uh, so here's to you and this thing that we do. And thank you very much for watching. This is Belt Mark Bill saying, Bill out. Gotta go. Check us out on Uber Eats. <laughs>